everyone. Uh, my name is Katie Hanford. I am the teen director at the Ballard Boys and Girls Club. And today I have the wonderful pleasure of introducing Miss Piper Sloan. <laughs> Piper and I have known each other for only a few months, but from the moment I met her at the first Keystone meeting, I know she was simply a wonderful person. She didn't set herself apart with any flashy leadership or a traditionally big personality, but instead with her ever-present smile, relaxed temperament, and goofy sense of humor. She puts people at ease simply by being herself. As we've gotten to know each other better through Keystone and Youth of the Year events, Piper has consistently demonstrated a remarkable work ethic, an empathetic tendency towards others, and a wiseness beyond her years. Please join me in welcoming a terrific human, Piper Sloan. I don't need to go to the podium because I'm going to handheld mic. Okay. <laughs> My story with the Boys and Girls Club begins exactly six years, four months, and 23 days ago, give or take 12 hours or so. That was the day I moved 8,181 miles from Melbourne to Seattle. I was a short little nine-year-old girl with stark blonde hair, a thick Australian accent, and very little understanding of the new world around me. I wore a fluorescent yellow sweatshirt and bright pink leopard print fedora. I pretended to be an expert on every topic I discussed, and believe me, I was not. And I was completely obsessed with the, with the constant thought of what other people thought of me. I was self-conscious, homesick, and friendless. For my 10th birthday, the birthday I'd been eagerly anticipating for years, instead of the elaborately themed party I hoped for, I stayed at home with my parents, my reluctant older brother, and a bowl of pudding. It doesn't sound great, I know, but at the end of the day, I wasn't disappointed, because that day I had gotten so much more than I could have anticipated. That day when I walked into the Boys and Girls Club, I got countless happy birthday wishes from people whose names I didn't know. I got hugs from kids who were now some of my best friends, and I felt more special than I had felt in a long time. Of course, anyone can make you feel special on your birthday, but the truth that makes the Boys and Girls Club such an overwhelmingly positive place is that they made me feel special, welcomed, and loved every day, no matter the occasion. They provided me with new opportunities and a nurturing environment in which I could grow. In particular, participating in club activities like Smart Girls and the Counselor and Training Program gave me new oppor leadership opportunities that boosted my confidence and introduced me to more people. They helped me prove to myself as well as to others that I was capable of handling responsibility and taking initiative. From these activities, I learned self-assured and to live without fear of judgment. But most importantly, I learned that it doesn't take much to make a new friend. Just introduce yourself and do something to make them feel special. By the end of the day, you'll have a new friend that you can invite to your 10th birthday party. <laughs> Thanks to these lessons, the shy, secluded girl that walked into the Boys and Girls Club so many years ago is astonishingly different from the one standing before you now. I'm dressed like a sane person and not a walking packet of highlighters. Shout out to Pam and Beck. <laughs> I lost the accent, but I made some amazing friends. They're not here right now, but promise me, I promise you, they exist. <laughs> but most overall, I grew from, oh, my goals in life are no longer focused on other people's opinions and are instead focused on my desire to go to college, major in forensic science, and become a lab analyst. <laughs> But overall, I have grown from someone who is unwilling to leave her bubble of security into someone who thrives on trying new things and meeting new people. Someone who is outspoken, strong, and unafraid. And it's all because I walked into the Ballard Boys and Girls Club exactly six years, one month, and 14 days ago. Thank you so much.